good day designer welcome back to my channel hope you guys is doing awesome this evening i will show you how you can edit template on your photo p and as you can see this is the cool graphics uh this is the kind of uh, template i'm talking about you actually edit them on your photo p you don't need to import anything everything is there and this is just a new update i'm going to show you we have a lot of things there even including the mock-up kindly stay tuned and watch the end and if you want to continue learning new skills in graphics keep on watching my channel Ted. please consider subscribing to our youtube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos without wasting much of our time let's start with today's tutorial Decography skills with creativity good day guys welcome back to my channel this is the graphy design channel tutorial so yeah i want to draw your attention to uh, some new updates on uh, photo p which you can actually as achieve in a simple step just very easy and you can at least edit the template and bring out something uh, useful either for you or for people around you or for your clients so without wasting much of our time i'm in our photo p website let me reload it then when you look at it you see many objects in here so the look the uh the interface has been changed totally as you can see we have all this uh panel all this panel is okay file edit and all that was there the way it was then you look at home button there is an home button you see this desktop icon you see the uh drive icon then you see the dropbox icon all this thing is just a new thing that is being embedded here that if you click on uh, drive you can automatically go directly to your drive instead of you to click and open and be looking where your drive is so when you click on dropbox anything saving that you can actually import it directly without going etern and scatter before you can uh, or, or get to where your file is inside the dropbox so without wasting much of time this is where i'm going you see we have a new project we have open from computer then we have the psd file and we have drop any file here so new project telling us that they want to create a new size folder and everything and make a new design open from computer means we want to import something without being creating any file so whatever we import we determine the type of size that we are going to use but psd template this is where i'm going there is a many many template thousands of templates inside this thing that you can actually add edit in your phone and use it for your own uh, purpose and it has a category let's click on it then it will load you see it's loading then when you look at it we have a category of this uh psd template i'm talking about so we have uh, mockups which is one and sixteen we have mobile and web templates which you can actually edit we have a print the one that you can print out products we have social media 253 different type of flyers social media package we have youtube one around three we have instagram and so on as you can see so and when you look at them you still have a category we have the odds we have new and we have the top one you can search for any but how can we edit them one after the other after you click on the uh template then it will take you to this area then click on any let's take it for instance i click on this then when you click on it you see back then you see what you click on still click on that image again then it will be loading you have to wait for it to load for a second so after loading the next thing you are going to do is to come to your layer you see the layer then you come to neon you see what is inside here is neon then you come here just tap on it exactly like this then after you tap on it just come here and click on it the way i'm click on it so you see when you turn to this then you edit at the same time let me put my brand name which is deco then you click the beginning to center it just move it as you can see then we are good to go we could just come to the file come to export and export as png then the quality let increase it to 100 then we saved so after you saving you see your result at the bottom then let's look at it you can see 
very simple let's try another one to see whether it what it work let me reload it so after you reloading it come to the psd template as usual then you wait for a while for it to load after loading then you tap on any that you still want so after tapping on it still tap on the image let it load after loading then you click on it exactly like this after you double tap on it then you delete everything now type deco you see automatically deco was typed then you go to your file go to export then export as png as well the quality is already in 100 percent then you saved this is number two then we can still reload it and go to another one we can still reload it and go to another one so we come to this template as well but this time around i'm not editing any of these but i want to go to another mock-up design so let us assume that i want to go into this so this is 3d glass i don't need to this is 3d glass i don't need to uh, uh uh download any 3d glass before i can place my design on 3d glass 3 this time around so everything is being embedded even there are some other mockups that is what that is inside this template i'm talking about so let it load and see then we can compare whether this is taking too much time to load compared to the one on the uh, uh uh the external one that we normally download it and you can see this is another different uh different uh marker can you see it's 3d glass as well then as usual top double tap place your logo then type on but instead of tapping on this let me type something and see instead of me so let me type on this then after tapping on this then let me tap here then I will edit what is there. So let's type deco deco digital. So you can see. Then after tapping on it, then I will move it back. So as you can see, I will move it back. Let me delete it. Deco digital so let's see how it look it's not going so let's see how it look so now i've double tap it for me to be able to move it so i've moved it here then the next thing i'm going to do is to look at the color i give let's see the color so let's use a uh, white color so let's leave it in red color then we come here and go to save as smart object so let's see how it work so if you don't want to edit anything you can go and import your design and place it on it then you run it exactly like this then it will be give you a good result so i mean that directly or, or give you an information that you don't need to at times there is a little more copy here that can help you to at least practice as a beginner and uh, if you don't want to get any pack that is being rasterized i believe whatever they put here is being tested so let's look at it you see now so it's very simple very simple and very simple very fast so let's save this sorry is even downloading automatically so it's jpg so you can see it's saved automatically so let's go into the last one for us to see that everything they uh, updated here is actually working it works perfectly so let's look at other one another one that we can uh, at least so let's look at this so after clicking you double click again then you wait for it to load so after loading the next thing that we are going to do is to double tap it so double tap the cell font not yet loaded let it load so it has loaded so we delete it then we say deco or let me say pixel lab let's use pixel lab pixel lab by you see let's see pixel lab under by if it can work 
by Dico. So it means it actually work. So the next thing that we're going to do is to come to sorry we'll come to edit let's reduce this so it's yellow so let's let's adjust a little bit so let's say let's say Deco and capital letter Deco G. No, let's say it's a lab. It's a lab. So you can see how simple that is. Then you can actually write whatever you want, depend on how you want it. Then you save it exactly the way I did. Just export and save. Let me load it for the last time and check other crazy stops there. Then we had it and moved. Let it and move. Then you go back like this. So let's let's even look at the category here. So look at this. Let me look at this. This is very very okay as well. Let allow it to load. Then we can see whatever that is out there. They said the green art. So let look at what is there. Then we start one after the other. So let's say the let's say Dico Dico. Then we come here. So after that, the green. So let come here. graphics good the deco graphics so as you can see how it is then you come to your what come to the export export as png is very fast so click on it then let's look at how this is again so you can see it, the deco graphics so this is just simple you can check it out and look at it and this one is doesn't has anything to do with your ram of your phone as long as you can open the website it will automatically turn everything because i believe all this thing is being tested and uh, updated so feel free to check it out and comment in the comment leave your comment in the comment section whether this is helpful Thanks for watching. God bless you.